shoulders relax. This will see that your stomach muscle and stomach area is doing all the work of rotating your legs. Five rounds clockwise, five rounds anti-clockwise. Then the left leg. reverse. First, initially for a few days you do with single leg when you start feeling confident or those of you who can manage right from the beginning <coughs> can follow up the single leg rotation with both leg rotation. Some of you who find it uncomfortable in the lower back can place your palms under your lower back and do the both leg rotation. <coughs> Five arms clockwise. Five arms anti-clockwise. Again, see that your shoulders, hands are fully relaxed. The full pressure is on your stomach muscles and stomach organs. <coughs> then, <coughs> after this, we will do body twisting with the karshasa. Hold your knees, relax your whole body, take a deep inhale, exhale, drop knees to the right, turn head to the left. Awareness on the twisting in the various areas of your body, inhale, exhale. Feel the twist in your spine, stomach area, chest area, neck area. Feel the stretch in the underarms. This is three rounds, but you need to do at least five rounds and one round you can do with holding in the final position. <clears throat> now, some standing up asana. <clears throat> yeah. Tadasana. Interlock fingers, place them on top of your head. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, relax. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, relax. Minimum five rounds. Fix your gaze at some point at eye level so that the balance of the body is better. <coughs> Sideways bending. <coughs> In Tadasan position. This is the Tadasan. Inhale, exhale. Inhale. See, do not bend forward like this. No. Bend only sideways so that the side of your body is compressed on one side, stretched on the other side. So both sides make one round. Do five rounds. Then Kati Chakrasana, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Full twist, one arm on your shoulder, the other arm circling your waist. Inhale in the center, exhale and twist. Now, Backward bending. <clears throat> Place 
place your palm on your stomach area, four fingers at the back, thumb circling the waist, and then inhale. Go back as much as is possible comfortably. Exhale. Inhale. Slide your hands along the back of your body. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. <clears throat> this was just for demonstration three rounds, but you need to do at least five rounds. Back it up with forward bending. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. <coughs> so you need to do five rounds. Now, those who are fit and have been doing some form of yoga and maybe have done Surya Namaskar should end this whole practice. With Surya Namaskar, I just show one round. And those who find it little tough or may do it as part of their advanced practice. So start with prayer pose, Pranamasana, inhale. Pastu Dhanasana, exhale. Padanasana, inhale. Ashwasanchana, exhale. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Now some things to remember while doing Surya Namaskar. The simple thing is that when you do this and you bend forward, you plant your palms in front of your legs. Now this, the palms will not move now till the end of your surya. Then you stretch your leg. The leg also finds the most comfortable position and it will remain there. Both hands and feet will not move <coughs> from the position taken. Push your hip at the back and try to flatten your heels. Initially, you may not be able to do it, but this is what you should target. Then, slide your body in the front for the Ushtarasana, so that you find center of gravity, and then drop your knee, chest, and chin. So the whole weight of your body is taken by the arms. Then, Bhujangasana. Then again, Parvatasana, V-shaped body. Inhale, exhale. Ushtra uh, Ashtar namas Namaskar, which you do, when your arms take the full body weight, is how you keep your muscles tone. So, the last will be the Surya Namaskar. Always follow it up with Shavasan. There are many capsules, many videos, audios put up on the YouTube to practice Shavasana, you can listen to any one of them, slowly you will get uh, you know, an inkling of what and how to uh, relax. So practice about <coughs> 3 minutes to 5 minutes of Shavasana after the Surya Namaskar. <coughs> then practice your uh, Pranayam. For Pranayam, <coughs> you need to do Kapal Bhati. Kapalbhati is only exhalation. The exhalation is happening around your nose, not through your whole body, or not using your stomach, spine, nothing. Exhalation is happening totally here. But involuntary, your stomach movement will synchronize with your exhalation and this part will automatically keep going there. But do not make effort to pull it in and do all this, okay? Don't use your body. Okay, I'll just demonstrate. Also, do not contact your face. 
all this is highly unnecessary. Just practice and you will get it. That keeping your body relaxed and just the exhalation is happening here. And the more relaxed and not using your body, you practice Kapalbhati, the more number of rounds you will be able to do without tiring up. If Kapalbhati practice makes you feel tired, giddy, etc., then just know that you are doing something wrong. Okay? So you can start with 10 counts, build it up to 15, 20, go up to 50. Okay? Practice 3 to 5 rounds of Kapalbhati. Then after Kapalbhati, practice Nadi Shodan. Two fingers at the eyebrow center. This is your Adhya Chakra. The Adhya Chakra is the command center for the whole body and it regulates the pituitary and pineal gland which is right behind your Adhya Chakra. And pituitary pineal gland, are, as you know, they control the secretion and regulation of hormones in the body. <clears throat> Two fingers at the eyebrow center, Adhya Chakra. With the ring finger, you close and open your left nostril. With the thumb, you close and open your right nostril. Do not keep your hand like this and all. Keep it relaxed, comfortable. Otherwise, it will start paining and you won't enjoy your pranayam practice. So start with the left nostril. Pranayam always starts with the left nostril. And asans, you start with the right side body. Five rounds, just inhaling, exhaling only through your left nostril. Try to make it deep, subtle, soft, but do not use your whole body or tense of your whole body for this, not like this. Making a big noise and pulling up your body, no, not necessary. Just, you are sitting very relaxed, spine relaxed, shoulder relaxed and you are watching your breath and it's going up, you are trying to inhale deep but very subtle, soft, the more subtle your breath, the more prana and they happen. One inhalation, exhalation makes one round. So do five rounds with the left nostril, then close the left nostril, open the right nostril. Five rounds of inhalation, exhalation through the right nostril. <clears throat> then alternate nostril, inhale through the left, exhale through the right. Inhale through the right, exhale through the left. Okay, so to make pranayam really effective, you have to Watch your own breathing as you are inhaling, exhaling, the quality of your breath, its temperature, its softness, harshness, whatever the sensation of your own breath, just watch it. And every day in the practice, try to make it longer, deeper, subtler. Then after this, <coughs> uh, there is one short practice of uh, activating your Adhya Chakra and also regulating your Muladhar Chakra. Muladhar Chakra is again related with the urogenital system. So for the Adhya Chakra, you will sit in a comfortable position, body completely relaxed. Then internally, pitch your gaze to the eyebrow center. Focusing at the eyebrow center, Visualize either a beautiful candle flame, a lotus flower, golden rising sun, just golden light or whatever is your favorite symbol. It could be your favorite god, your Ishtadevta, Shiva, Jesus Christ, whatever is your favorite symbol you can visualize there and keep your awareness fixed at the Adhya Chakra. As you get comfortable with gazing at the Adhya Chakra, then slowly the next level will be to visualize.